Here's a quick example to introduce you to probability theory. So in this example, there is one male and three females, and they are applying for a job opening, but only two of them will be hired. Uh, since the candidates are deemed equally qualified, the hiring committee uh, decides to hire two candidates at random. So here are a couple questions we might want to ask. Um, the first question is, what is the sample space? Okay, and if you recall, the sample space is the set of all possible outcomes. The second question is, we want to calculate a probability. So what is the probability the male will be one of the two people hired? So let's start with the sample space. And what I'm gonna first do is I'm just gonna list all the, um, uh, just give you some notation um, for the individuals that um, in the problem. So there's one male and there are three females. So I'm gonna call them F1, F2, and F3. Um, so remember the sample space is gonna consist of every possible pairing um, of the four candidates, okay? Uh, and I'm gonna try to do this systematically. So I'm gonna start with the male and I'm gonna think about every pair, <clears throat> pair that the male could be in. So the, the um, male could be with female one, female two, or female three. And that is it. So I have like exhausted every possible pair that the, the male could be in. So I'm just gonna cross this uh, person off and we're, we're done. Uh, and then I'm gonna move on to the first female. Uh, like I said, I usually try to do these things systematically. Um, so the, the female could be with the second female um, or this uh, the first female could be with the third female. And then I've pretty much exhausted every pairing that includes the first female. Um, the second female, so could be with the third female and there's really no other possible pairing. So I've exhausted all my possibilities. Um, so these are all the possible pairings and you can see there are six of them. So this is actually my sample space. Uh, and the way that I would write the sample space in, uh, in my final answer is I'm gonna have S is equal to, and then I have an open curly, uh, curly brace, and then I'm just going to list the six possibilities. And this is my final answer. This is my sample space. So let's move on to the second question. It asks us to compute a probability. So what is the probability the male will be hired? Um, so th this is a case of sort of calculating a classical or a theoretical probability. Um, in this case, when I look at the sample space, I can see that there are six possible outcomes and each of these is equally likely, okay? Um, these are all what we would call equally likely outcomes outcomes because the, the candidates are being chosen at random. So there's no candidate that's given more preference. So that's important to note because that allows us to use the classical or theoretical formula. And that formula, um, if I say, let's let A be the event the male is hired, then the probability that A occurs is equal to the number of outcomes in A divided by the number of outcomes in the sample space. Okay, and so if I go back uh, to my sample space uh, over here, I can see that the number of outcomes in A, well, there's one, two, three, so that would be three. And the number of outcomes in my sample space S, 
Well, that's six. Uh, so this gives me a probability of one half, which we can write as a decimal, or we can also write this as a uh, percent, so 50%. And so I could write any of these as my final answer, either one half, uh, 0 0.5, or 50%.